this is Kirsten, and today I am doing my monthly favorites for December and January. I kind of had a lot going on in December. Towards the end of December, my camera stopped working, so I didn't get like all my December videos and go out till like January, like the beginning of January. And by then, I totally forgot about my favorites, and it was like the middle of the month. And I'm like, you know what? I'll just wait till next month, which is what I did. So we have a very large favorite this month. So, um, I don't really have them separated per month, but I think you'll be able to tell sort of which ones I liked in December versus which ones I liked in January, because some of them are kind of Christmassy, just because, yeah. So I know the first thing, some of my things I can't show you because they're like, things? Does that make sense? I guess so. that makes sense to me, okay? So like, my one of my things I really loved in December was Pandora. I listened to Christmas music like crazy on Pandora. I made a Christmas station. I listened to it when I was in the shower, taking a bath, during my day just doing shit at home all the time. I loved it. Even like when I had um, anxiety, the one thing that would cheer me up and make me feel better really fast was listening to Christmas music. It just put me in a whole different state of mind. I loved it. So that was a lifesaver and yeah, I know a lot of people are like, I hate Christmas music. Even during Christmas they overplay songs. Um, another thing, hot chocolate. Not this exact hot chocolate, but I had, we bought these at CVS after Christmas, and they were like 75% off or 90% off or something like that, and we got, this is actually the only Swiss Miss one that we got, right? Yeah, yeah Swiss Miss. The other one was like another brand, and it was flavored sugar cookie, and there were a bunch of them like this, and I drank them all. They were amazing like amazing I love them so much like so much I I'd never had a sugar cookie hot chocolate before but it was it was amazing um since we're doing drinks I love peppermint tea you're gonna see that I liked a lot of peppermint things during both months still into this month I love peppermint I love peppermint tea all year long but I've been drinking a whole bunch of peppermint tea for December and January. I love this. And I only bought one, because they're like, buy one, two for five or something, and I only bought one peppermint. I wanted to buy two more, because I like, oh, get a sleepy time tea in a flavor that you like, because you're having problems sleeping. So what did I do? I listened to them, and I bought that, and I haven't drank it. Should have bought two of these. Since we were doing um, drinks, this cup, well, not this cup, but these cups, I think you get them at um, Walmart. You get four or five of them for five dollars or five ninety nine um three of them are this color and then two of the cups i think are like a dark brown and they have this little thing on the top or in the front and then they have like you can choose what you're drinking i freaking love this drink it comes with the different tops i love it it makes me feel like i just went to starbucks or dunkin donuts and got coffee i drink everything out of this i drink coffee tea water everything. I love this cup. It makes me feel fancy and like a cool kid. So, cool kid status right there. <laughs> um, I'm put all the stuff that I've already done back here. Um, do -do -do -do, just randomly picking. Okay, so I got the Be Delicious, a DKNY, just regular Be Delicious. I like to wear the pink version a lot. And after Christmas, this was on sale. The small bottle was on sale for $10 and I got it. And I have been wearing this a lot lately. This is the like the first big perfume I got when I was in middle school and I love it and I've been wearing it and every time I spray it, it just like brings me back to middle school. I loved middle school. I had a great time in middle school, so I wore this all day today too. Oh my god, it just makes me so happy. I remember the first time that I got this perfume, I like I sprayed it on those little spray things and somebody had told me if you put like the little spray thing in the dryer with your clothes that all your clothes would smell like that so I went to the like I think it was Macy's and I sprayed like two of them I put one in my purse and then I put one in my dryer hoping my clothes would smell like that it did not work it didn't I wish it had but I've been loving this the original DKNY in the green perfume so much this month um candle cause I got quite a few candles I won't lie so for Christmas, I was burning the pumpkin gingerbread cook 
yeah, just pumpkin gingerbread. It had a cookie on it, though, so I said cookie, of course. I love this one. It smells so good. Kind of spicy and sweet. I'm sure there's, like, a description down here, which probably is better than spicy and sweet. It says, a Christmas classic. Get in touch with fresh, creamy pumpkin added to a scrumptious mixture of just baked of just baked gingerbread and golden vanilla. Yeah, that's a much better description than whatever it was I said. It smells good. And I like this one because it came with one of the lids and it was all like cookie cutter. It was really cute. I hate it when you get a candle that doesn't come with a lid like one of the next ones I'm about to show you. So this one right here actually sits next to my bed and I don't burn it all the time because, well, this one I burn more than the next one I show you, but I like this one because when it's this one from my bed next to my bed and it's not burning, it still smells like lavender, like a, a soft, light lavender, which I love. Like, I'll walk next to my bed and sit on the edge of my bed to grab something or do something, and it smells like lavender, and I love that. It, it smells like a creamy lavender is literally what it smells like, and it's just the lavender vanilla is what it's called. It just smells like creamy lavender, a very soft soft creamy lavender, whereas this other favorite, which I can only burn when Mark isn't here, smells like pure lavender. It smells like just fresh cut lavender, and when you burn this, it's very strong. I will not lie, this is a very strong lavender candle, and I love it. I love it, especially when I'm taking a bath, and I actually, <laughs> I was taking a bath one day, and then I got out so you didn't hear that, and um, I went to go <laughs> blow it out, and I blew it out, and it just, like, backfired on me, because I was, like, too close, or blew too hard or something, and I got, like, wax all over it. I used to do that all the time with my candles on top of the TV, because I'm really short, and my, like, TV thing comes, like, here on me, so I could, like, <laughs> blow into it, and they would just, like, splash my face all the time. Does that happen to anybody else, or is that just me? It's probably just me. Yeah. I love that candle too, it's just the fresh lavender, it smells like fresh lavender. I love it. If I didn't have Mark, I'd probably burn it all the time, but I love Mark, so we're not going to like, you know, be super mean to Mark. Um, next thing from Bath and Body Works that I've been obsessing over this month and last month and probably for the rest of the year until I freaking run out of it. So next year I'm stocking up so much more next year that didn't come out right, but I'm going to stock up on more of these next year so they last me all year which is the Twisted Peppermint, and this is the Ultra Sheer Body Cream. Oh my god, I love this stuff. Somebody told me, uh, I think I said this in a video already, um, somebody told me that the um, Ultra Sheer Body Cream is better than just the little body lotions. And the body lotions are okay, but this stuff is amazing. Like, I love taking a shower and shaving, or just getting out of the shower, and then rubbing this all over my body, and then my body smells like peppermint, and it slightly tingles. I love it. I love it. And Mark's always like, you smell like candy, and I like that. I don't know why, but I just, I love this scent. It's calming. Peppermint is such a calming scent for me. I love this stuff, and I'm trying so hard. Like, I use, like, the smallest amount and rub it everywhere, because I'm trying to limit my use on it, because I don't want to run out, and I know I'm gonna, and I only have two of these, and I'm probably, probably halfway done with this, if not more. <laughs> I have, like, two of the perfumes. I know they're going to last me forever, but I like the lotion even more than the perfumes. I, I love this stuff. I love it. So, I'll just do... No, I want to do this next. So, this next thing is actually a piece of art that I made. And I have wanted... Am I holding it the right way? I'm trying to remember because there's, like, a way I wanted... I think it's supposed to be like this is how I like it. I made this with crowns. With freaking crowns. Isn't that gorgeous? So I bought a ton of crowns at this, what I call the scratch and dent, and I had been collecting crowns for a while to do the basic crown art like this, which I wanted to do for a very long time, and this is just like what it's, the basic one kind of looks like. And I really like it. It's pretty, but I was like, we had so many canvases because we bought them on sale that I wanted to try something else because somebody had done like a a kind of galaxy one and so like that one you hot glue them on the top and this one you take the crown and you hold it over it while you like 
use a hair dryer on it and it just splatters everywhere. It's like the biggest, messiest art project ever. But I love this. Every time I look at it, it looks like like water watercolors. I mean, it's so beautiful and I love this. I have it hanging up over my craft table and I just think it is so pretty. I mean, can you believe that that is done with crowns? Melted freaking crowns. I love it. Not to toot my own horn, but I think they did a pretty good job. Isn't it pretty? I'm just, I think it's gorgeous. So, I love that craft. And I want, I have more canvases and more crowns. And I want to do more. And I've been like, I tried to do the thing where you like put a sticker under the bottom. So it like kind of falls around it. With like an Alice thing, it didn't work. Which is fine. But I think I might make like another small galaxy one. I like that a lot. Comment down below if you, like, have a better idea or, like, something else you think I should try. So, like, comment in the down low. If it's down low, that doesn't sound right. Don't, don't do that. Um, next cream I've really been liking is the Say Yes to Coconuts Hydrating and Restoring. It's a hand cream, hand and cuticle cream. After I put on the, co the coconut, the Twisted Peppermint all over my body at night, I put this on my hands. And then obviously I do my face, but I put this one on my hands to, like, moisturize my hands more, because I don't know, like, I know this one is, like, I guess intended for your body, but I want to, like, super hydrate my hands, because I feel like they've been kind of dry lately. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. It makes sense. Another favorite, obviously. Um, another favorite? My wallet. My wallet. I love my wallet. I love my purse. Like, I love the purse that I got for Christmas. It's amazing. But it's ginormous, and when all my stuff is in it, it's so heavy. And like I've said in other videos, I, whenever I, like, carry too much into a store, I'm always like, I hate this, or I have Mark hold it. I love this wallet because it has the little strap. First of all, it's adorable. It's freaking adorable. And it's by, who's it by? I have no idea. This was from, like, this is from, like, the Target line at Target. And I actually took it in the other day and made it say hi to, like, the last, um, <laughs> wallet that was there and like the next day we went back and it wasn't there so it was probably sold or something but um I love this wallet I think it is cute and it reminds me of a Kate Spade I don't know why it just it reminds me of Kate Spade and I love that it has this little thing cause I just put it on my, my wrist and I barely even know it's there and it, I can carry it and the thing about it is I will have like my ID and my credit card but then in the front compartment I keep all my coupons like, today I went shopping, and I took out just my card, and I didn't have my wallet, and I was looking at stuff, and I was like, oh, I think I have a coupon for that, and I was like, oh, my wallet's in the car, which is why I love carrying this wallet, because it has my coupons in the front, my card's in the back, it's not that heavy, it fits around my wrist, I love it, I just love this wallet, such a great Christmas present. Um, another thing which I'm actually almost out of, and I'm super excited, I think I might be doing one of those, um, empty videos where I show you all the stuff that I have emptied, which actually is a lot more, when I, when I really think about it, I've emptied quite a few things, which I'm surprised of, because I never empty anything, I never get to the bottom of anything, so, kind of excited, but it is these facial wipes. I don't even know what brand this is. It's called it's pomegranate infused makeup cleaning wipes. Protect and restores. You get 60 wipes. I don't know who this is by. I have no idea who this is by. I got this at Ross and it was only $3.49 for 60 wipes. And I have to say I love these wipes. I can use one wipe and it takes off my entire face. The entire thing. I love that. Because I've used other wipes in the past where either you have to wet them or um, you still have makeup left on your face. And I hate that. And the truth be told, I got other ones in a, I think it was a Walmart box that I wanted to try out. I haven't even tried them out yet because I've still been using these because I love these so much. Like, they're the simplest thing in the world. I love them. And I think I might have to pick up some more. And if you guys know of another brand, you know, that does the exact same thing, that'll just take all of it off, I would love to know. Obviously, I don't think Roth has these anymore because these were these were on clearance clearance. They were reduced to three forty nine. So they were originally four ninety nine. Ooh. But I mean, so they're probably. I was in there the other day and I didn't see these because 
I might have bought more if I had seen them, but I didn't see any more of these, so... Yeah, let me know if you know of a brand with just one wipe will take off all my makeup, including my eyes and my foundation, which is, like, I've had wipes that don't take off your foundation, really. I see, like, my whole face on this wipe when I pull it away from my face. It's quite gross, but I know it's gone, so I feel better about it. Um, another thing, which this is probably, I think, the second or third time this might have been in my favorites, is the, of course, I ripped it again so you don't know who it's by, but it is this creamy coconut, like, face mask. I love this. I actually went onto the website for this brand, and I looked to see if they had big bottles of it, because I bought a big bottle of the, like, face peel in one of the other flavors, and I wanted to know if they had this. This flavor, I guess you would call it, is new, so I don't think they have it in like a big bottle yet, but every single store I've gone to, I have checked to see if they have a big container of this. I've seen all the other ones except for this one. I'm hoping, hoping they come out with a big container of this because I would buy it in a big container and I would use it all the time. It just smells so good. I really, I just want to eat this, which is sad. Oh my god, it smells, it smells a lot like all the, um, say yes to coconut products, which I'm obsessed with, so it's probably why I want to eat it and I love it so much. Okay, I have some other things that I wrote down that I want to tell you about. <laughs> TV shows. I am obsessed with this brand new show called My Big Fat Fabulous Life with Whitney Thor. I, oh my god, I tweet about it every week. Like, I am on Twitter tweeting to her and the show, and I love this show. It is about a larger woman and just her journey through life. And it is incredible. I love Whitney Thor's personality. She, she is incredible. She is like, I want to be her best friend. She is so much fun, and she just has like a really awesome life. I love her mom, Babs. She is, she's adorable. It is just such, like when I saw the commercials for this before the show aired, probably like two months ago, maybe a month ago, sometime in December, probably early, early December, I was so excited, and I like tweeted about it. And lo and behold, Whitney Thor tweeted me back, like, the day before Christmas, or like two days before Christmas. I was so excited. I was all, like, fangirl and starstruck, and I was just so happy. And I, the show was nothing like I expected it to be. It was, like, a hundred times better. I love this show so much. And after even the first episode, there's a guy in the show who's her friend called Buddy, and I wanted them, like, immediately, I wanted them to be together. And I think, I hope, I hope, I even tweeted after the end of the first show that if they don't end up together, I was going to scream. And I hope they end up together because he is just so great with her, and I love them together. And, oh my god, he he's so sweet. And Whitney Thor is amazing, and if you haven't seen the show, or if you're a bigger person, and you feel kind of... That's the best way to put it. Like, if you feel like there isn't a lot of things out there that are positive about bigger people and things like that in general, like, I feel like there isn't a lot of things put into the world that are positive about larger people. This is the first time I've really seen a show that really, she makes me feel good about myself. And I, I love that so much. She is just like a breath of fresh air, and she has the most amazing, quirky personality, which I just, I love her so much. I love the show. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It is on TLC. It usually comes on after K plus 8 or something like that, I think, like that. Something like that. It's like, and then there's like an hour long. It's two episodes, and it's just fantastic. It is so much better than I thought. It is just great. And another thing I want to tell you about is an Ipsy, Ipsy store? Yeah, an Ipsy store. It is called Deb Blazer. It is where I got my lovely wedding ring and my husband's wedding ring. When we got married, we were super duper poor. Like, super poor. Like, we actually didn't even pay for any of our wedding. Our families were nice enough to help us pay for it. It was a beautiful wedding, and it cost under $500. So, yeah, to those of you who are like, you can't have a wedding for super cheap, you can. I had a wedding on the beach. It was beautiful. It was a potluck, but it was amazing, and I, I probably wouldn't change much about that day. It was, it was a fantastic day. 
Um, but when we were buying, when we were looking for rings, we wanted something that was handmade and felt kind of special. But we were very, very broke. And I think we got a set of rings for um, 30 or $60. They were silver. They were gorgeous. And we bought them from a lovely lady called Deb Blazer on Etsy. And I recently can't talk to that because there's like other people in the other room who could hear. But I'll just say I, I recently um, had to contact her about a ring breaking and she was super nice and said she would replace it and everything and did something else with her and she was so nice about it and if you guys are in need of a ring, she has the most beautiful bands and they're not just like wedding bands, she has other bands. She has these thin bands called Plain Jane bands which are so beautiful. They're so beautiful. My first my first wedding ring was a plain Jane ba band and it broke and she actually replaced it with something a little thicker and oh my god. So beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. But yes. So if you are in need of a beautiful I like her because she is very local. Like we live in Florida and she lives like probably less than 60 miles away from us and I like buying local because I know it'll get here fast. And I like buying local. I don't know. I just, I like buying local. So, yeah, check her out if you need a gorgeous fan. She makes gorgeous fans. And they're not that, they're not very expensive. So, check her out. I will leave her link down below to her Etsy store. And another thing, okay, so now we're going to get into my beauty stuff, right? Is that all that I, I made a list? This is the first time I've ever made a list about what I wanted to put in the video. Okay, no, that's, okay, fine. So, other things I need to talk about. Ah, <laughs> this is dumb and this <laughs> is such a chubby girl thing. Pizza. I I am putting on my monthly favorite pizza because I have been like craving pizza like crazy and I've been eating pizza. I like pizza. I have been like posting, looking at pictures of pizza. I don't know, I don't know what is wrong with me, but pizza is one of my favorites for this month along with YouTube. I have been like obsessed with YouTube. I like every morning when I wake up, I go on to see if the certain people who I am subscribed to have put up a video yet. If there's a new video up, I will watch it. As soon as I get a little thing saying that one of my people put up a video, I will stop whatever I am doing and I will watch it. I am like dedicated. I love YouTube now. Like I used to, like YouTube was okay. You'd go on and see something like every week or so I'd go on. I am on there every day now. Ooh, excuse me. I am loving YouTube. And Pinterest. Pinterest is like my life. If I could have a job working on Pinterest, you bet your ass I would. I could pin shit all day. I wonder if you can like share your Pinterest with people or if like they have to be your friend or something. My Pinterest is awesome. If you can find me, go find me. Yeah. Go. I think it might be like cursing God can. I don't know. Go find me. Maybe I'll leave a link to it down below. Maybe if I can do that. I don't know. We'll see. Another thing I have been obsessing with this month is this lovely shirt here. I hope it's clean. This is my Totoro shirt. I got it for Christmas. My mama bought it for me. And when I first got it, I did not want to wear it because it is white. It's a little see-through. And I, I would say it's like a little tight. Like it was a little tight in the stomach area. And I felt uncomfortable wearing it out. But recently... I have been wearing it. I wore it to sleep in and I wore it out. And I don't know if I am like a little fitter in the stomach, if that makes sense. But I feel way more comfortable in it. I feel like it fits better. It's not nearly as snug. And I'm obsessed with it. Maybe I'm just obsessed with it because it just, it feels, I don't know, like it fits better. But I like that. I like that a lot. And another shirt product that I bought off of eBay was this beautiful cat shirt. I am obsessed with cats in case you didn't know. I bought this shirt and I was hoping it would be a very kind of extra large blousey shirt to wear over leggings and I, I think I might have bought like one of the largest sizes they had and it is definitely like baggy on me and I love that about it. I'm sorry if it is dirty. I wore it today and I was um, playing outside with my nieces so, <laughs> if it's dirty, I apologize. I just got done playing basketball with my nieces. 
Um, but I love this shirt. It is very, um, it's, it's not see-through, like, it's a very soft material, but it's not see-through, and it lays very nice, and it kind of clings a little bit to the body, but I like that, but it's flowy at the same time. This doesn't make any sense. It is a gorgeous shirt. It was under $10 on Amazon, and I likes it. I likes it a lot. So, yeah. Um, next I'm going to get into cosmetics, and then I'm going to get into my, I don't know what you call it, like, not-so-favorites of the month, I guess. So, yeah. Um, my first, like, cosmetic favorites, there aren't, like, a whole bunch, but I bought the, uh, in my, like, after New Year's or after Christmas haul, I did... I bought some cosmetics, and um, two of the things I bought were the, one of them was the Rimmel Perfection, a Rimmel Match Perfection, and this one is in, I think this one is in True Ivory, right? Yeah, True Ivory. I love this stuff. It is so much better than what I was using before. I love it. It seems to match my skin tone very darn well, and... Another product I got in that same haul was the NYC Liquid Concealer. Is that it? Just Liquid Concealer? Does it have a number name thing? No, I don't know. It's just, it was a concealer and it was on sale. And it works a lot. It's very, it's much more, much more thick. Is that, is that right? Is that the right way to say it? It is way thicker than the, um... Elf concealer that I was using prior to this, and I like that. Like, I feel like the Elf was very sheer, and it didn't really cover well, whereas this is much thicker, covers much, much easier, and I just, I like it a lot better. So, yeah, those two were awesome. Obviously, I used them together. I feel like some things have traveled and have, like, vanished underneath me. So, yeah, there's definitely one missing because I know I had three lippies and now I only have two. That's fine. I didn't want to talk about the other one anyways. So, <laughs> these are, what are they called? They are Giorgino colors? I think I'm saying that wrong. I have no idea what it is. These are cheap little, like, um, lippies, the, like, lip pencil, lip balm things that I got in a after Christmas haul. They were on sale. I think you got, like, six of them for, like, a dollar or a dollar fifty. Maybe they were two dollars. I think they were, like, a dollar fifty for, like, six of them. I honestly thought they were going to be extremely sheer, and... I actually didn't plan on using them, but I used them, and they're not nearly as bad as I thought. This one right here almost comes off, I'm going to do a swatch thingy for you, almost comes off very coppery, and I kind of like that. Um, the other one, which has vanished, I don't know how, when I just set it up here, probably because, oh, it's on my lips though. So the other one was like a more of a purple kind of pink. And I really, I've been using that one a lot just because Mark said that he liked the way it looked on me. You tell me what you think down below because I don't like it nearly as much. I think it's a little, I think now that Christmas is over it's a little too dark, but I still wear it for him because I know he likes it. And then this one right here is, first of all, this one isn't, doesn't go on nearly as easy as the other two, which kind of irritates me. Um, it's like, it's harder, and it's kind of like a pinky, rose kind of color, but they're actually, they're not sheer. They're really not sheer. Some of the other colors are more sheer, but these are actually good colors, and they're not sheer, and I'm really surprised, and I really like, these are, these two and the one that I'm wearing right now are the only colors that I've actually been wearing lately, like, that's it. It's mainly been the one on my lips, and then this one. I really, really like these, and... I am pleasantly surprised, especially for the price of what I paid for them. Very surprised. Another thing, oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. I got this probably less than a week ago, and I'm freaking obsessed with it. Okay, so I watched this, 
I'd heard about this. Actually, I wanted this before Christmas. I'd seen it at Walmart, and I kind of hinted Mark to get it, and he didn't get it, which is fine. Not a big deal. He got me tons of other amazing things. But I went back to go get it in, like, the kit that they had for Christmas, and I couldn't find it. In fact, I went to four different stores to find this kit one day. This kit. This this palette one day. I went to Target, and I didn't look for it, but somebody told me it was under $10 there. And I went there. Actually, 11th Gore just told me it was under $10 there. And I didn't look. I was looking for something else there, and I didn't look there. So then I went to Walmart. My Walmart did not have it. I went to Walgreens. At Walgreens, it was $12.99. So I didn't get it there because I knew I could get it cheaper at Target. So then I went across the street to CVS. They don't carry it. Then I went to another CVS, which is when I realized they just don't carry it. So the next day, I went back out to Target, and I bought it, the last one they had, for $9.99. And then, of course, today I was at the other Walmart over by, by Mark's mom's house, and it is $9.89, and it came with an eyeliner. But that's okay, because I've had it, and I've used it, and I fell in love with it the second I used it. So this palette is amazing. I love this. I think I love this 20 times more than my Naked 2 palette. I don't know why. It is amazing. It is sheer. It is gorgeous. I have used, I think, six of these colors already. And I need to talk about this because this is a major thing for me. I don't know if other people know about this. And I'm just really late on the bandwagon. And it's, oh, I thought it was gone. It's about to have a little shit fit. This this brush that it comes with, it has obviously the normal side, you know, that every freaking eyeshadow brush comes with, and then it has this thing. This part over here is amazing for doing like your dark color, the little line right above your eyelashes, like it's eyeliner. Amazing! Freaking whoever came up with this, you're a genius! A genius! I love that thing. It makes doing that little line so much easier, because when you try to do it with a regular, like, Eyeshadow thing? No. No. Just no. It doesn't work. You always like move it and it's like your eyes move and it just doesn't work. That thing makes it so much easier. These colors are incredible. Incredible. I love that thing. So next is, okay, we'll do this one first. Is the eyeshadow, of course I like put this in my, um, my makeup bag. And it's only been in there for probably, like, maybe a month, if that. And I can't even read who it's by now. But I think I got it two months ago in my Ipsy bag. And I have to say, this end right here is probably the softest, softest brush I own. And it is amazing. I love using it to, like, blend my colors. I love it. It's, like, the nicest brush I own. And, of course, I should have checked before I decided to put it in my favorites. And... If you got an Ipsy, <laughs> Ipsy bag, I think, for December, or if you want to go and watch my Ipsy <laughs> unboxing for December, you'll know what kind of what kind of brush this is. This brush is amazing. It is, like, the most amazing brush ever. I love it. I'm never going to complain about getting a brush in my Ipsy bag again, ever. I swear. If I do, you yell at me in the comments, understand? You yell at me. You yell at me. Next thing is actually also from an Ipsy bag, box, I don't know what you want to call it, I guess it's a bag, is the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. First time I used this, I was not sure of this. I thought it was kind of clumpy, I wasn't sure if it did a great job, I wasn't sure if I liked it. I love it. No, I love it. I do love it. I probably won't go out and purchase a full size of it just because I'm uber cheap, and I probably just won't buy a full one because I'm just depending on how much it is. If it's like under $10, I might. If it's over $10, I don't know if I'm willing to pay that where I am right now for a, for a eyeshadow. I mean, uh, eyeshadow. For a <laughs> mascara. But it is pretty damn awesome. I will be honest, though. I do use, like, um, my lash blast first and then put this over it because I like how my lash blast kind of fans out my lashes. And then I put this over it, and it's like, BAM! In your face! And stuff like that. So, but this is amazing. Even by itself, it's amazing. Like, if I'm just, like, not putting on much makeup at all, I will put on just this, and I'll feel pretty. 
I will. I'll just be a pretty. I just do. It's what I do. So that is it for my likes. Now I guess I have dislikes. One of them, I can't, I'm not going to show you. I'm going to tell you about. I'm not a huge fan. I guess it's two things. I'm not a huge fan of Amazon. I usually buy things on eBay. I like eBay. I've been using eBay for like a number of years and I enjoy it. Amazon I had to use because I got a gift card for Amazon and I know so many people say such amazing things about Amazon and love Amazon. I find it, I think it's just me probably, but I find it confusing, okay? Like, it has a price for something and then it's like, oh here, you can find it for cheaper here, but it's not actually cheaper. No, it's not actually cheaper when you add in tax and, not tax, when you add in like shipping. First of all, I don't pay shipping on anything, and I hate that, like, I don't, this might just be me, but, like, when I go on to, um, eBay, I, obviously, I type in something, and then I go and change it so it shows me the lowest price to the highest price. Have I been able, I don't know if I've been able to figure that out yet on Amazon, which is driving me crazy. I don't know if you can do that on Amazon. And another thing is, like, when I buy a product... I like how on eBay you can go and you can contact the person which you bought it from. Like, I've had problems on eBay where um, I bought a product and it either it wasn't sent to me or it wasn't right. And, you know, I contact somebody and they fix it right away. I had a problem with a product that I bought on Amazon. There was nothing I could do about it. I don't know if it was just me, but I, like, I sent back a thing saying, you know, this isn't what I wanted. It's not what it was in the picture. I want my money back. Nothing ever got done with it. I mean, yes, I did help somebody because I left a comment. I did help somebody decide whether or not they wanted to buy the product, but it didn't help me in any way. Like, so I don't know if I just am using it wrong or I don't know how to use it, but it's obviously too confusing for me, and I don't know. I'm upset with it. And the other thing was I bought a cat hat on Amazon. And it was like a knit hat, and it had cat ears, and it was awful. It I, The hat was great quality, but the ears were literally, like, on opposite sides going, like, in different directions. It was horrible. Luckily, I was able to cut the ears off the hat, and the hat itself is fine, and I'll wear that. I would have never bought the hat by itself, though. It's just not something I would buy or spend money on. I wanted the cute cat hat. So I'm really upset about that, that I couldn't get a hold of anybody to let them know that, you know, this this product sucked and it's not what you guys had in the picture. So that irritates me that I couldn't do that again. It could be me and me not knowing how to use it. But, yeah, I was upset about that. So the other thing that I'm not so happy with is the CoverGirl full lash bloom the pink one instead of the orange one I got this for Christmas and I wanted it for Christmas like I had heard a good review about it on um Eleven's Gorgeous I like Eleven's Gorgeous I trust them obviously I trusted them about this it was freaking amazing I got this I don't know if it is just mine because I feel like lash blast products are pretty much the same but my brush like hurts my eye like, it pulls at my lashes when I use it, and it, like, scrapes my eyes, and it hurts. Is that just me? I mean, I feel like the brush isn't that different from the other brushes. I don't know if it's the formula, and it doesn't get the brush wet enough, but it, like, hurts when I go to put it on. Is that normal? Is it just me? Is there a way I can fix it? Leave me a comment down below. If you're having this problem, if I'm a retard and I don't know what I'm doing... Or if there's a way I can fix it because it hurts. And I just got this and I like, like I said, I like to use my lash blast. And this is the lash blast I have right now, you know, to go in first and then to put on the other mascara. But it hurts my eyes. Like, what is that about? Is it me? It's me, isn't it? It's me. It's just me, isn't it? I know it is. Anyways, so those are my favorites and non-favorites for the month of December and January. If you are still here, you're amazing, because I'm sure that was like 30 minutes. Seriously, why are you still here? You're amazing. I love you. I love you. So, it is almost Valentine's Day. 
you should go check out my what I got for Christmas video because there is a giveaway at the end. It is almost the end of it. It ends on Valentine's Day and only one person has left me a comment. That one person is my husband. Seriously, my husband. My husband is going to get a bunch of makeup and some Bath and Body Works candles. Damn it! Go freaking comment on the video! Go! Watch the video! Comment! Do you really want my husband getting all that makeup? It's a free gift. Free. Anyways. Have a happy... February, I guess? Happy Valentine's Day? I hope you enjoyed this video, because... It's a lot of crap. It was a lot of crap. I can't believe you're still here. Yeah. If you're still here, comment down below. Whales are awesome. Yeah. They don't know you stayed. You probably didn't stay. I wouldn't have stayed. Oh no, I probably would have stayed. I have no life. I probably would have watched the whole video. That's just me. Yeah, have a great day. I'm going to stop talking now. Bye.